There are a lot of electronics laying around with a character display like this and almost all of them have the same pinout. You don't even need a data sheet to make it work for you, but you should know a couple of tricks. Let's see how to connect any character LCD display like this to a development board. So I had this old piece of electronics laying around. I assumed that the display here was a regular character-based LCD display with GPIO pins. So I opened that and found what I was looking for. I found pins numbered from 1 to 16. Almost any character LCD display will have the same pinout with 16 pins. So if you see that, great! Also some displays are connected to a separate small chip that combines all those pins into just two wires. But I will show you how to do this with just the GPIO pins here. Take the display module out and prepare it for soldering new wires. Now the common pinout looks like this. You have the power pins, the control pins, you actually only need just two of them. The data pins, you only need four of them. And pins to power the backlight LED. So for connection you only need to use just six GPIO pins of your development board. So let's start with soldering the first three wires. Those will be the negative, the positive and the contrast wire. So now we can check if the display even works. Connect the contrast wire and the negative wire to ground and the positive wire to plus 5 volts. If you see something like this, your display probably works ok. Count how many characters you see, you will need that information later for programming. This one has 20 characters and 4 rows. Two of those rows don't respond during this test, but that's ok, they will work. So now we need to connect the rest of the wires. Here is a trick to save some of the GPIO pins on your development board. Connect the RW pin straight to ground. That will be the fifth pin. Now I will be operating this display in 4-bit mode. That means that I only need to connect just 4 of 8 data pins. First I tried using the first 4 data pins but that did not work. Then I connected the last 4 pins and then I saw something on the screen. Try either way if you encounter any problems. I will be connecting this display to a Wemos D1 Mini development board with an ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip. Now this module does not supply enough amps to power itself and the LCD display. So I have to separate power before it enters this module. For demonstration purposes I just slashed this USB cable. Next we have the contrast issue. We need to find out the correct resistance needed for the contrast pin. So here is a trick. For this you can use a small variable resistor like this or a potentiometer. Connect one side of the resistor to the ground, that's the first pin, and another side to the contrast pin, which is the third pin. So now we are ready to test this system. If you have done some programming already, just connect the power. If you want to know how to configure a display with an ESP module using ESP Home firmware, click the link in the description. So when you are ready, connect the power and adjust the contrast until you are happy. Then please do as told on the display, I'll appreciate that. If you need a backlight, just connect power to the last two pins. And that's it! Use any old or new character LCD display on your project. It's super easy. Ask me in the comments if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.